with you all the way to Paris. Kicking up the gay Paris bus, tramping along with you. Our heels go flickety clack, no turning back. We're on our way to Paris. What a sight to see, little you and me swinging along the road. We may have a difference of opinion just because we don't agree. Life could be a lovely bed of roses if you'd only listen to me. I'm listening, I'm listening. Oh, what a life for you and me. We who don't agree on our way to Paris. No matter who may win, the loser has to grin. That's how it's gotta be. So like birds of a feather, we'll wing it together all the way to Paris. All the way to Paris. Ha! All the way to Paris. We oui, read. Oui. Now, according to this map, if we take this road, we should be in... We should be in trouble if we take this road. Ah, uh, you're nothing. I'm not nothing. You are nothing. Not nothing. That's it, you're a double negative. That does it. I'm taking this road. Don't look out for the swamp! Athens, the 13th conference of the International Council for Scientific Standardization. Norabotta, etke formulit la standardizatsi. Passerovani na dolge praktike. E na učnik e se skanj. Danu e komisi nju klonna i ni prestano. Vre detilski mi na merinja mi i taktikve o predlonik del gatov. But the work of this council is continually being heard and frustrated by the obstructive tactics of certain delegates. The delegate from the United States, in particular, Nina Shor Sibyav Sili Podyergat, Ilidaje Opsodi. I repeat, the delegate from America, in particular, has adopted this negative attitude. Has adopted this negative attitude. Uh, oh, I beg your pardon. The Russian delegate is now speaking in English. I strongly suspect that the government of America has instructed their representatives not to support or even to consider the adoption of these formulae. Me bili esklochitno terpeliwi no kospodin pechidatin. We have been extremely patient, Mr. Chairman, but there is an end to patience. If these tactics persist, we shall have to adopt similar tactics. Try this. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I must request that members of this council be restrained from playing the fool. Ladies and gentlemen, lunch. Here he comes. He's down. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on, order. Nine, ten. Come on, make up your mind. Fifteen, sixteen. Chicken Kiev. You know how long you spoke. Twenty. Oh, boy, that was close. Come on, pay up. Why did you go at me? I did not go. You. I heard you, you went. I did not go at you. Down there when I was speaking. Oh, then. Yeah, yeah, I did go at you. Because you were pouring the pants off me, that's why. You know how long you're talking? One hour and 54 minutes. No wonder we can't make any progress at the conference. We cannot and will not hypothecate ourselves to such an adsitisis perifrasticism. So you juxtapose the bicephalus to a decimal system with a discrepant curvilinear mensuration, and what happens? I suppose another big word happens. 
All right, tell me the big word that happened. I wish we could get rid of them. I can tell you your formula will not be accepted. Why not? In, in the first place, it, it won't work. And in the second place, it won't work in the first place. It is because your system was drawn up by a bunch of decadent capitalists. Where to get this decadent business? Who's decadent? I come from a long line of pioneer stock. My grandfather walked all the way from Boston to Idaho in the middle of winter with no money. Call that decadent? That was your grandfather. You can hardly walk from the bedroom to the bathroom without resting halfway. Your turn. Yeah, I suppose you can now walk them all the same as you can now talk them all, huh? Mr. Wellborn, how far is it from Boston to Idaho? About 2,000 miles, that's how far. And uh, how far are we from Paris? I don't know. Less than 2,000 miles? Yeah. Why? Mr. Wellborn, would you like to challenge Comrade Strogoff to walk from here to Paris to see who gets there first? You're joking. You mean walk all the way? Yes, like the grandpapa. No, I wouldn't care. Wow. Wow. Comrade Strogoff, will you challenge Mr. Wellborn? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 I challenge him, I challenge him. Comrade Strogoff, do you accept? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Do you accept? Yes. All right, I accept, but I uh, yeah. want you to understand. I do not have Ladies and gentlemen, you have just heard our two honored delegates challenge one another to walk from here to Paris. No cars, no money, no nothing. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember the next year, I will not be And since they are about to leave immediately, I am sure you will all agree with me when I wish them everything of the best and the may the best man win. Yeah. 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 Comrade Strogoff and Mr. Wellborn, please step forward. I come back. Or what it is. You can. Mr. Wellborn, are you sure your grandpappy had no money when he went for a walk? Well, I guess uh, it had Two dollars? Well, maybe. Okay, make it five dollars. That's 150 drachmas. That's for you. Wait. And the same for you, 150 drachmas. There you are. Now, is Mr. Wellborn's secretary here, please? Uh, excuse me. And uh, Comrade Strogoff's secretary, look after that, please. Look after that. Now, remember, the first one to get to Paris is the winner. Well, ta-ta. <laughs> bigger all the way to Paris. Do you realize what you've done? This will have serious repercussions in Washington. And in Moscow. That will teach me not to stick my nose into other people's keyholes. Oh, will you do me one favor? Will you keep this out of the papers? Ladies and gentlemen, please, we have a little request. Please, do not tell the press about this. Okay. this meeting. And even although our friends, the honorable delegates from the USSR and the USA are not with us, we still constitute a quorum and are therefore entitled to vote upon the issues before us. Something fishy going on down there.
ladies and gentlemen, we have made remarkable progress this afternoon. In fact, we may safely adjourn this meeting for today. Oh, hi, I'm Ed Sloan, International Press. Say, what happened to your bosses? Comrade Strogoff is indisposed. Uh, Mr. Wellborn is uh, indisposed, too. Oh, uh, yeah? Do they uh, indispose each other? Oh, no, they're just posed. Will they be indisposed tomorrow? Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, no, uh, let me see. Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday? Uh, yeah, they will be still uh, indisposed tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow's Wednesday. In that case, they will be indisposed. Tomorrow. You the new man from international press? Uh, yeah. Well, the delegate from Barongo is looking for you. About you know what. <laughs> he's in the bar. Oh, thanks. I'm afraid he's beginning to smell a cat in the bag. You're not shooting me a line. Oh, don't do that. You said you had a very good reason for bringing me here. Yeah, I have. I bet my boots that neither Strogoff nor Wellboard ever reached Paris. Do you think they'll go back? Well, it's a hell of a walk, isn't it? Who do you think will go back first? Strogoff or Wellboard? Not Strogoff. He's too big headed to turn back first. Nearly 1,500 miles and never lost the distance. What are you doing, honey? You must. <laughs> Come on, honey, I, uh, I got myself a story. we got to get it off right away. What about my producer? Isn't that the new man from International Press? Uh, shall we go, honey? Oh, but I don't uh, Sorry, I've got a very well, urgent appointment. my dinner. Mr. Edwards. Hi. Look, you I... You must uh, not come here. It is not proper. But I've got to talk to you. People will see me. Look, I Edwards. promise you nobody saw me. This is terribly important. Please. Very well. Come in. Thanks. Mr. Edwards, I have strict instructions to concentrate only on my duties to Comrade Strogoff. Well, that's just fine by me. Only this just happens to vitally affect your Comrade Strogoff. Do you mind if we talk? Very well. Good. Look, tonight at dinner, a couple Please. of delegates were... Sit down. Now, tonight at Please, dinner, I, I must dress. Oh, for heaven's sake! Please, it is not proper. Look, tonight at dinner, some delegates were shooting off their mouths, and that guy from International Press overheard them. Look, I said tonight at dinner. Oh, but that is terrible. We must all. Oh, that is terrible. He is writing the story right now. We must stop him. We must yeah. go to his room and stop Let's him. Go. Where is my shoe? Quickly, quickly, help me find my shoe. Perhaps you ought to get that delegate from Anzonia to help you. After all, he started the whole thing. I know where his room is. It is 213, or is it 312? Anyway, we will find it. I think I know how to get there. Come, come, quickly. You're late. I've turned out all the lights in the dormitory, so you'll have to find your bed in the dark. And please, don't disturb the other gentlemen. Thank you. Your name, please? Oh, yeah. My name is Wellborn. W-E-L-L-B-O-R-N-E. -E. Your initial, please? G-J. What address? I better make it American Embassy, Athens. Are you here just for the one night? Yeah. Thank you very much. Down to your right and along the passage, and please don't disturb the other gentleman. Ah, company. Come on in. Make yourselves at home. You sit here, honey. So, Wellborn and Strogoff have taken a stroll, huh? How much do you know? Ah, I know the lot, the business, the works. We have come to persuade you not to write the story. Yeah? 
Well, okay. Persuade me. Mr. Sloan, I appeal to you. Yes, you do. Don't be impertinent. Persuade him. Huh? Uh, yeah. Now look, Ed. You realize, of course, that Mr. Wellborn's gonna look pretty silly if this, uh, gets into the papers? <laughs> The whole world will laugh if they hear that the United States delegate to this very important conference has embarked on such a stupid, uh, apparently stupid, undertaking. Now the point is this. The world will be laughing at the United States. And in the present state of world affairs, we can hardly afford to... Uh, uh, uh. So, I appeal to you, Ed, as a fellow American, not to write this story. Or do I have to push your face in? And I appeal to you as a fellow American. You and whose army is gonna push my face in? Stop that immediately. Mr. Ed. Huh? You think it's a good story about Strogoff and Wellborn, huh? <laughs> you bet your life it's a good story. It's a better story than the one you didn't write about the delegate from Baronga. What do you know about that? I got a finger in every tart. I know the works, the business, the what you say. A lot. Thank you. And if necessary, I shoot to the whole beans. Now, wait a minute. I, uh, I had a very good reason for not publishing that story. Hmm. Very interesting reasons. Are you trying to blackmail me? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Good morning. Everybody up, up. You know the rules. You've got to be out of here by 8 o'clock. Come on, out of bed. Now, come on, you. Rise and shine. Don't dawdle, girls. And how long do you want to sleep? Everybody up. You've got to be out at 8. And you. Everybody up. What's the matter with her? She takes the sleeping pills. Come on, my girl. Up you get. Everybody out at 8 o'clock. Come on. That's it. Oh, you don't have to be shy, dear. We're all girls together, you know. Isn't she sweet? Come on. Ah! It's a man! Oh! What? <laughs> After Mami of Kini, as class and Tosfiti, he hasn't even got his trousers.
I was just, I was just showing. I shot him with it. I tell you, I am the chief delegate from Russia to the conference of the International Council for Scientific Standardization. Where are you going? To Paris. And where is the conference? In Athens. But I can explain. And if you, if you don't, if you don't release me immediately, I will telephone Moscow. Have you got enough money to telephone to Moscow? You will advance me the money. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Is this the man? I... I'm not quite sure. Tell him to take his trousers off. I refuse to take my trousers off. Then we will lock you up till you can prove who you are. Is this the man? Oh, the other one was much better looking. He was not. Yes, uh, I suppose he was. Thank you, oh, madam. Oh, that's quite all right. I hope you find the culprit. Good day. Good day. You may go. of money. What will they eat? Where will they sleep? They will suffer. Perhaps it's a good thing if they suffer together. Perhaps maybe they will learn that a friend in need is worth two in the bush. Do you realize they have not got their passports? How will they cross the borders? They were full of clever plans at the conference table. Maybe they'll have some more clever plans at the border. Albania, you help. You wear this? Okay. Let's go. Hello, Azimi. No what? What the? Where? 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 Hey, hey, fellas, wait for me!
Καλημέρα. Καλημέρα. Hey, stop staring at me. Go on, beat it. Go and find your own mother. In Doxy, as it's not. Where the brother to? Watch. I, I, hmm? no. I take red one. Steady, steady. That's it, Mabel. Oh, oh, come on, honey. No, no, don't go away. Dodge. Dodge never. No. That guy from Agence France Press is asking what's happened to Strogoff and Wellboard. Well, they'll know the whole story by tomorrow morning. Can't you fix him, too? Like more blackmail? Well, yeah. I mean, you must have something on him. He's a Frenchman. No, no. He's such a clean living square. I got nothing on him. Look, this is my story. If that guy scoops me, I'll... Come on, let me send that cable, huh? Now, before he does. Oh, well, the news is old now. Maybe it would be such a big story. Oh, thanks, pal. Facing another wet weekend. Now, in less depressing vein, it seems that two delegates to the ICSS conference in Athens have undertaken a foot race to Paris. They left Athens three weeks ago in the middle of the conference, and their present whereabouts are unknown. Why didn't you let me know? I did, sir. I wrote a letter applying for leave of absence for Mr. Wellborn, sir. Well, I didn't receive it. Uh, I suppose it's still going through the usual channel, sir. Well, you get out there and find him and tell him to get back to the conference. Yes, sir. No, no, don't do that. We can't let him turn back before the Russian does. Yes, sir. Dichana Rotovaric Strogov, Finca Conferenza Stradova. Dr. Tovaric. Nietra. If you can't go on Skotovaric on Stadimiki, Totki Adra. Dr. Tovaric. If you instruct your man to go back, we'll do the same. We have no guarantee that your men will go back. We shall recall our men as soon as we are certain that yours has returned. Then we will have no guarantee. We will give you our promise. Hello, are you there? Yes, I'll have to speak to you again later.
down but don't make contact just watch him through binoculars and report back to us twice a day yes don't don't him you Yugoslav That's funny, my car did that too. Sabotage. Good morning, having a spotted bother. Where are you going? Did you do that? Now, how could I do that? I've only arrived. Remember, I came up the hill and you were standing over there. Why do you do this? Why do you always interfere? I like people to like people. He likes people to like people. So he makes people walk all the way to Paris. He blows up the cars. Didn't you have an Italian accent in Athens? Oh, yeah, but that was in Greece. One of these days, so help me out. Would you like a lift, please? Oh. Morning. <laughs> What's cooking? My car broke down. My car broke down, too. Yeah? Independently? Look, it can get kind of windy in those things. Perhaps the, uh, the lady would like to travel with me. She'll come with us. Well, that's for the lady to decide. I'll go with him. Suit yourself. So long. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Well, it couldn't be us. We only arrived now. Remember, we came over the hill and you two were standing there. Well, there's a law against malicious damage to property. I will get the lady's suitcase. Italiano. Vanya? I can speak a little English. Oh, thank heaven for that. Look, I haven't got any money, but I can work. If, if you can give me a room for the night, something to eat. Ocha does Pava Ochaveta. On Moshe in Matwe Krevit. Please come in. Well, no thanks. You can have my bed and I will share with my mother. Do you speak English? Da. You want to sleep here tonight? Yes, please. Dobro. You can sleep here tonight, but you must share my bed. Share? Do you mind sharing? No. I mean, no. Call me. You 
Besita. I am going to bed now. Let's. Do this, man. Black and orange. Black and orange. Siedite bliže. Moja mama kaže da moraš sjediti blizu do kuće. Ne, sjedite bliže. Bliže. Ne možeš se sramiti, ti moraš govoriti. Ti se to odpiša, ja imam to. Ah, to je lijep dan, to je lijep dan. Zašto ne govorite? Would you mind passing the salt, please? Da, ja sam pasio the salt. Well, thank you very much. It's all right, don't mention it. Now, will you pass me the salt? Great pleasure. Let me help. Thank you. That is enough. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, that is enough salt. salt. Thank you. It was very kind of you. Wonderful. Bogans, Bogans. Vaska, dobro, dobro. Jedan moment. Wait, please. Veći neka budu pametni. S ovim vinom može biti jako ove godine. My mother said, be careful with the wine. She make it herself, and some year it come out strong. Well, Vaska, dobro, fine. Goodbye. Dobry dzień. Dobry dzień. Bye. And so, a small back page news item seems to have captured the imagination of the world. Inquiries are flooding in. Where are Wellborn and Strogoff, and who is winning? Moscow and Washington still refuse to comment, but top-level discussions are taking place. Hold on, hold on. I think I see one. It's Strogoff. Oh, it's him. It's Mr. Wellborn. Oh, he looks like a tramp. No way he'll see it. to allow that. I don't make the rules. I am going to put those signs back. It's too late. Look. Oh. Uh. Ide ova ulica. Ide tamo. Ki put uda u trst. Ne možeš ti čitat? Da li streliča kad je pravi put? Ja ne znam. Ja ne možem čitat isto. 
Ah, Drasda. He's going the wrong way. I am going to tell him. You're going to talk to him? Did Moscow say you could talk to him? But it is not fair. That Mr. Wellborn is a crook. He is not a crook. He's just clever. He's playing dirty. If your boss is stupid enough to think that Trieste is that away. Lady and oh, gentlemen, maybe perhaps I should make you walk back to Paris too, huh? All right, I apologize. Okay, I apologize too. Right, then kiss and make up. Oh, don't uh, be ridiculous. Goodbye. Wait. Yes. Why do you? I do like you... people to like people. All right. No, a nice sexy kiss. Oh, you. Well, it's been nice knowing you. All right. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Hey, the man speaks English. Are you from Zambia? That's a bit off, yes. And does this road go to Trieste? Oh no, we were going to ask you, does this road go to Trieste? I told you the sign first was wrong. Look, this road goes to Ljubljana. I'm telling you, some joker turned the sign post back there. So what do you want to do, turn back? No, we can carry on this way and hit the Trieste road further ahead. We'll see more of the country that way. Okay. Say, Dad, we're going to Trieste. Do you want to come along? Yes, thank you. Sit down, Dad. <laughs> Look who's cheating now. But they are going the wrong way. Maybe perhaps they are taking that way. Then they'll join up with the Tiest Road over there. Ah, that means Comrade Strogoff will gain about 15 kilometers. That is only fair. Hmm, if he gets off of the main road. I bet you he goes as far as those kids will take him. Comrade Strogoff is an honorable man. When they reach the main road, he will get off and walk. You want to bet? Yes. I'll bet you ten dollars. Okay, it's a bet. Come on, let's take the short way. Uh, there is a railway crossing ahead. That's right, Bob. But there is a train coming. Yes, sir, there is. Come in, go! Stop, you will kill her. Hey, Pop, where are you going? I will walk now. Cheers, Daddy. Bye. Bye. They'll be coming along that road. We'd better hide over there. See? That's the Trieste Road over there. That's right. Straight ahead. See, he didn't get off. Pay up. But I did not see him in the car. He was in there amongst those kids. Hand over. Look who's coming. Ha! Huh. He's waiting for Mr. Wellborn. Do you think he will hit him? No. Those, those boys, they will talk, 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 but fight. No.
Oh, let's find some lunch and get cleaned up, huh? Where will we find them again? Oh, there's only one road to Trieste. It's no use, we've lost them. Well, they can't be far. We'll find them. Well, I've never all my Uncle Sam. Gone on the 4th of July. Don't worry, we'll find them again tomorrow. Well, where are they? Look, what's happening? Did you find them? Who's winning? Yes, we found them and then we lost them. Yeah, why don't you get lost too? Okay, come, comrade, let's get lost here. Hmm? I <laughs> Let's find a nice hotel. Tomorrow we can look for them some more. Where did they get it? <laughs> What does they do? They kick a gift horse in the teeth. Morning, morning. Hey, I missed anything? Hey, are they down there? No, we're just admiring the view.
international press announced today that Wellborn and Strogoff have been found. They have reached northern Italy, and although they are looking fit and healthy, they seem to have run out of money and are beginning to suffer from hunger. not all speak in English here, but uh, if you will say a few words to us, I will translate. That's on this course. Discourse of, discourse of, discourse of, discourse of, discourse of, discourse Ciao. Moscow and Washington have finally issued a joint statement of intention in the Strogoff Wellborn Affair. A committee is to be appointed to establish rules and regulations for the contest. The committee will be convened in Geneva and will consist of 25 members, 12 from Russia and 12 from America. The Swiss government will be asked to appoint a neutral chairman. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sorry, fella. Hallo, bitte geben Sie mir die Polizei. Hallo, Inspektor, ich habe zwei hinter Ihnen geschnappt. Ich Morgen sofort. They cooperated. He carried you him coward. and he carried They're him. You're going to prison. <laughs> it's no good crying over spilled blood. We'll get some out again. S and W were arrested this morning for stealing chickens. But the whole world is clamoring for their release so that the race can be continued. Oh, 
Okay, come on. Wiedersehen. Hey, hey, no, no, come back, come back. Mr. Edwards? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm Bill O'Brien. I have to take over from you as observer. Oh, uh, why? You and Mr. Olive have to go to Geneva to give evidence. Evidence? In court? No, at the CRCSWC. Well, that's the Committee for the Ratification and Codification of the Wellborn Strogoff Challenge. You may sit down. Thank you, sir. You are Mr. Jonathan C. Edward? Uh, yes, sir. You are the secretary to Mr. Granger J. Wellborn? Yes, sir. You were present when the challenge was issued and accepted? Uh, yes, sir. Officially? Why, yes, sir. when he issued the challenge? Uh, yes, sir. The exact words? Yes, sir. Very well. Tell us. Uh, he said... Uh, okay, 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 I challenge him. <laughs> it is obvious that someone else formulated the challenge. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Um, uh, uh, the delegate from Amazonia did. <laughs> Mr. Uh, how did you say you pronounced your name? With a sharp intake of the breath on the second syllable. Ah, yes. Don't you think it's rather silly for delegates of the U.S. and the U.S.S.R. to engage in such a juvenile contest? Not so silly like throwing atom bombs at each other. I am sorry I insulted you. Insulted me? Um, which particular time? When I called you a coward. Oh, that's okay. I am. No, no, I do not agree. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, what do you say we uh, kiss and make up some more, huh? No. <laughs> you look like Father Christmas. I do. Better. <laughs> no cars, no buses, no money, no nothing? That's right. Did Mr. Strogoff or Mr. Wellborn amplify or modify these conditions? No. Was there any mention made as to whether the contestants would be free to accept aid or gifts from anyone? No. But it was obviously implied that the contestants were to live off the land by their own efforts. I do not think that such an implication can be construed from the evidence before us. If either contestant should accept, say, a crust of bread from some kindly housewife... A crust of bread? This is the stuff of life. But toast! That is a luxury! That is an infringement! Yeah. Keep this simple. Take two horses and enter them in a race. Now there are stringent. Why do you want to bring horses into the argument? Mr. Chair, this is impossible. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yes? 
May I leave the room, please? Yes. Thank you. Russian logic. You're trying to formulate the rules to favor your own contestant. If you don't stop sabotaging all our attempts to find a solution, I will communicate with Moscow and there will be trouble. Hmm? <laughs> I must tell you, sorry. After 12 days of investigation and debate, the CRCSWC has finally succeeded in formulating a set of rules to codify the terms of the challenge between Strogoff and Wellborn. Latest news is that S and W C are, I beg your pardon, S and W are still neck and neck and have reached Montreux in Switzerland. Good morning, Don't sir. Hiya, school. Danny. It's good to see you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. Wellborn, sir, Kaya, I've been instructed Kaya, to read to you the I rules drawn up by the Geneva Committee. Come closer, Johnny. I can't hear you. Sorry, sir. I'm not allowed to come any closer than three paces. Why, have I got a plate or something? Instructions, sir. Here are the rules. One, four referees shall accompany the contestants at all times to enforce the observance of the rules and terms of the challenge as herein set down. Two, neither contestant shall accept or retain any gifts from any person whomsoever. Three, the contestants shall of this date surrender to the referees all such gifts and gratuities as they have received, excepting the clothes which they are at present wearing. Four, the committee shall supply to both contestants the requisite toilet articles to maintain the minimum standards of presentability. Five, the contestants may accept food, clothing or money in remuneration for labor or services rendered. Hey, you can't do that. Don't you read my it mail. It is only a letter, monsieur. You stay out of this, huh? Hey, Johnny, throw me one of your shoes. Come on, Johnny, your shoe man, that's it. Hey, you can't do that. The rules! Yeah, keep your shirt on. I'm not breaking any rules. There you are. I cleaned your shoe. Now pay me $50. Hey, you can't do that. You can't get away Show with that. Show me anywhere in the rules that says I can. For $50 Go for ahead. a shoe shine? Show me. Now, look, you'll have to be clever. Come on, Johnny. We better sort this out now. Will $50 be enough, sir? Yeah, if I need me more, I'll clean your other shoe. If you don't take that money away, I will address the Moscow. What kind of a rock is this? No, no, leave me alone. Daniel, rock your voice at two. Oh, well, back to the committee and revise the rules. Just not going to do any more. You've done enough, and that's the end. Good morning, sir. Hi, Johnny. You're just in time. Throw me another shoe. I spent the fifty dollars. The rules have been revised, sir. Here's a list of payments for services. Really? Yes, sir. Ja dożna przeczytać sprawila. Shoe shine twenty cents. A washing a dog fifty cents. Twenty cents for a shoe shine? Well, that's monstrous. That's grinding the faces of the poor and of the babysitting two dollars an hour. Dish washing one dollar an hour. Now wait a minute, Johnny. What does it say about buying and selling? 
Buying and selling? Uh, not, not a thing, sir. Nothing? Fine. You want a hat? Pay me for Hey, you can't do that. He's doing it today. Why don't you stop it? He's doing it today. Hey, Who says can't I can't sell, sell my hat? Oh, 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 Bye, sir. This Thank is you. Not no, 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 look, hey, this is against the rules. This is not a right. Oh, oh, again. Oh, hey, why don't you... Tanya, go. Come on, Mr. Wellboy, Washington wishes you to let Mr. Strogoff in this race. What? It's very important for reasons of policy. What reasons of policy? Please keep your voice down. This is highly confidential. Okay. What reasons of policy? Well, you see, it's all very complicated. You see, there's a summit meeting coming up, and the State Department thought if you could... Well, the hell with this. the State Department. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to let that loudmouth Bolshevik... But this request comes from the highest authority. Look, I've walked the past thousand miles, and I'm prepared to run the next 200 if I have to. They... Now, you go back and tell them that. They won't like it. Well, they know what they can do. Oh, very well. Johnny... Johnny, how about that? Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard of? There's another thing, Johnny. I'm not going to settle for the rates of pay laid down in that book you got there. If it wasn't for the $50, why, I... Mr. Wellborn. <laughs> Full of over that Mr. one. Wellborn. Mr. Wellborn. Mr. <laughs> Wellborn. What are you back again? Telephone. Yes. Wellborn, you better lose that race or else. Yes, sir. Hello? Y yes, Mr. President. You got the message. Yeah, you stuck. Oh, Johnny! Look, he's doing it too! Mr. Yep. President, do you see that? He's doing... You tell the President, will you? He's doing it too. Does he want us to stand around here forever? Hello? Very well. Very well, sir. The president wants you to win the race. Or else? Or else. Watch me now. Bye. Let's go ask your boy. The pace is now getting hot. Wellborn and Strogoff have left the main roads and are taking shortcuts across the fields, mainly to avoid the thousands of onlookers who are congesting the road. The President of France has consented to welcome the winner at the finishing post. Stop! Why? What the? Vous êtes en avance. Le Président nous attend pas encore. Oh no! I was ahead. He was. Hey, get back where you were. Mr. Referee, put him back where he belongs. He was further back than that. I was not. I, I, That's a lie. Get him back where he belongs. Further back. Le président vous attend.
Paragraph 24, Clause B7 should Gentlemen, read, yes? The contestants have arrived in Paris. Neither contestant shall lend his name to any form of advertising commercials or... I wonder who won. Or recording contracts. Monsieur et Madame Fleury. How do you do? The Honorable and Mrs. Robert Bellam. Count and Countess Rodolski. Monsieur Piet van der Meuve. <laughs> you you should have seen one. this guy. He decided to steal <laughs> chicken, you see. There was this yeah, farmer who wanted to shoot us. Yeah, farmer and his gun. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Hey, uh, come, come on, let's show him. Show him. He cut us down, you see. He cut us back to back. Like and I decided we had to run away, so no, I took no, him on the back no, like no, this. And, no, no. and remember, I pick you up. Like, I went like... Like this, you see. No, 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 no. I just think I remember. I I'm started sure running you. first because when you were... Yep. Look, what are you Can't trying to do? Remember straight something. You big light on the Oh. 